The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 213 pounds, Hunter. It's all about showing off for this superstar. They are fearless and want everyone to know. <laughs> you say fearless, I say insane. Let's just call the whole thing off. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. And his opponent, from the internet, weighing in at 207 pounds. Gentlemen, I think this one's going to turn into a fight in a hurry, and I cannot wait. He says it's all about dominance tonight and plans on showing why everyone backstage should be scared. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of once that cage door is locked. I shudder to think what individuals are capable of when they're surrounded by 15 feet of steel. And once you are in the cage and the door is locked, the time for talk is over. It's all business. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Into the corner now. He's one step ahead there. Nice. Punch connects. Oh, catapulted down on the opponent. And a quick pin attempt. Kicks it in the nick of time. That was far more effective than I think anyone could have expected. Final cut. Perfectly executed. Oh. Oh, nice back rotation suplex. Standing Spanish fire. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Kicks out. Two and a half, and if he keeps this up, we'll be out of here sooner than expected. So much can happen in the confines of the steel cage. Byron, what is a sound strategy in this one? Focus on a body part like a leg. If damaged, your opponent will have difficulty standing, climbing over the cage, or even walking through the cage door. Wow, it sounds a bit cruel coming from you, Saxon, but I agree. Don't forget, you can win in the ring, too, and a damaged leg can lead to an easier pinfall or submission. To the knee. He's taking some good hits. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. Oh, what a roundhouse. He's got the shoulders down. It kicks out at two. Almost could have been a flash finish there. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh my god, it did it! Kick to the lower back. Boom! A forearm smash. Up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Up high. Shooting star. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. He's reached the pinnacle of his climb here. And would you look at that? He could be well on his way to escaping the steel cage. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. One leg over. Can this superstar finish the climb? I don't think so. This fight continues. The sprint up the cage is on. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? to the top, but can he finish? And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. All he has to do is try
drop. Oh, not from up there. No, 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 no. He's the man now. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. Oh, man. Almost made it to the top without a care in the world. No, I can imagine they care about a few things right now, Saxton. Oh! In search of some footing to make this huge climb. And not so fast. Oh, yeah, he's got him in a precarious position. Making the big climb towards victory. Oh, baseball steal. Fortitude being tested with every step. Oh, no! From the top end. And he's thrown from the cage down to the mat. Not allowing that to go on any longer. He fends off the attack. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Bruising attack to the stomach. He's looking a little weary now. Honestly, considering this is a cage match, into the cover. Oh. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. He just won't give up. Just wait, the steel cage matches never feel as far as the maze. 